Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight on the podcast. Please welcome for the first time recording artist, musician, and rapper, Gavlin. Yo, yo, yo. What is popping, man? What's up? Thanks for coming. <laughs> yo, thank like you for having me. Like I said before, we had all your homies just on. Basically, yeah. yeah. How, how did you link up with them? Like, they're fam, right? Too? Yeah, Blimes and Gifted Gab are fam. Reverie's also fam, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I got her. Satori mob right there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we honestly all met each other for the first time in uh, Cypher. The Cypher effect oh, Cypher that right. we did. Yeah, yeah. That was like official first meet for Blimes and Reverie, Gifted Gab. I met through my boy DJ Hoppa. Mm-hmm. And then they mentioned, I, I think Blimes mentioned, you, you brought her on her first European tour? Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. She was really... Uh, friendly like we got along like yeah. immediately yeah for sure yeah and she's really down to earth and uh yeah and they're like they have a move you all have a movement going on yeah right? yeah a little bit yeah and with us we d- we did a we did a show that's how i like i s- i met you well we met real quick at soundcheck yeah but it was a uh, shout out to leilani leilani it was for her fantastic planet album release party great album um, and uh, yeah, and then uh, Exile performed, you performed, and then yeah, and then that was a fun night. That was fun, yeah. yeah. And so, um, let's get down to your history and stuff. So, you're originally from Los Angeles? Um, yeah, I'm a LA native, uh, born and raised in San Fernando Valley. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out to the San Fernando Valley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I started rapping. Uh, when I was like officially like sixteen, seventeen years old. How did you get into the the um the whole movement and hip hop and everything? Like, do you remember your first exposure to uh, rap and everything? Oh yeah, I mean definitely. Like my first exposure to like underground music was for sure Atmosphere and then Immortal Technique and stuff like that. Yeah, shout out to but, Slug. But uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to Slug. Um, but uh, my first show in L.A. was at. The Knitting Factory. Yeah, that's in the neighborhood. Yep. Yeah. I missed that spot. I know. That was a good spot. I used to go there, hand out flyers, try to sell CDs. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, that was a um, cool spot. I like the fact that they had, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's no longer there, but it used yep. to be a venue near Subway Sandwiches in the CVS up the block, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they would have different rooms and shit. Like, we did a, yeah. like, my crew did a couple sh- shows there too. Like, we opened for Ugly Duckling and the that's pro- awesome. Yeah, the Procussion. I think a crew called the Procussions. Mm-hmm. But I used to just go there, just if their Dell was in town, and I would right. Go, yeah, and I would go there and yeah. try to hand out flyers and stuff. For sure. Yeah. So you have uh, some good memories there. Yeah, that was. I mean, for me, it was the first. I mean, that was the only spot. I feel like that was all ages, mm-hmm. and I did my first little show there when I was like, s- like sixteen, seventeen years old. And then, you know, Urban Underground, the airliner came into my life. And then that was like a every weekend thing. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. airliner. And that's where, like, I grew up. That's where, like, as a, a hip-hop musician, that's where I learned a lot. Um, the airliner. Now, f- for those listeners and viewers, uh, describe what that was. W- it was a venue in, in Highland Park, was yeah, it? Yeah. Was, it, was it in Highland Park? I don't, I don't know. No, that, I was thinking about Loan Theory. Sorry. Well, you know, it was at the same place. Oh, it was at the same, same, yeah. same venue. Same 24th venue. and Broadway. Um, you know, it was like a melting pot for any up and coming rapper, um, that wanted to jump in a cypher, that wanted interaction, that if you made your own music, um, that was a place to be, to really kind of just network and put your abilities to the test in a way. Mm-hmm. And then there was a couple crews that, I mean, there a lot of LA groups would perform there as well, right? 
Oh, yeah, definitely. I just remember a lot of cloudy night. I was always drunk there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you know, it's kind of same I, here. I remember you bit. walk in, the bar was right there, then yeah. you go upstairs. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then not only that, there was a whole DJ movement as well. Weren't there like DJs performing there? Yeah, I think that was mainly, uh, wasn't it? That was like the low end theory night, wasn't yeah. it? A lot of like Daddy Kev, yeah, Gaslight Killer, yeah. uh, DJ Nobody. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, when did you start uh, wanting to record your own music? Man, when I didn't want to start recording my own music, shoot, honestly... I would say I've always been wanting to do that since I was a kid. I've always was in talent shows as a kid and whatnot. So as soon as I got access to a studio, I was like, again, like 16, 17 years old. So, um, yeah, crazy experience. And then how did you how did you dive in there? Like as far as uh, get like recording or right. the beats and everything? I mean, when I di- dive, it actually was kind of hard for me to figure out how to dive in because I was like hearing my voice back for the first time was like yeah. super new. You know, <laughs> do, you, do you remember the first like the first producer that gave you a beat or? Uh, yeah. Shout out to my boy EQ. EQ was okay, the first person. EQ, yeah to uh record me that was in highland park and um yeah grimy studio but i made some classics there and then and then when did you start uh diving into like uh putting your stuff out or performing and all that um i dropped like my first video shoot dang i think that was like in 2008 Mm -hmm. and fresh out of high school and i dropped this a song called What I Do on this old rap group, uh, rap crew I was on called Organized Threat. Shout mm-hmm. out to Von Poe. Um, yeah, and it went viral. It, oh, hit, it damn. hit a million. Like on YouTube? Yeah. And what, I was it was like, a music video? Yeah. Oh, it was called damn. What I Do and it went viral. And um, yeah, that was crazy because I felt like YouTube was just starting. So like the whole th- so this going viral thing. 2000s, early like 2012, two thousand thousand twelve. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So like I feel like that's like a... I don't know. I feel like that shit was just starting at that time. So I didn't even know what that meant to go viral at that time. And yeah. that took me uh, on tour in Europe and in the States. So that was a uh, first breaking in experience for me. Okay. And then wh- how, what impact did it have on, did people start like recognizing you or like, Hey, I saw the video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it took me, it took me to Europe and I, my first tour. I saw Wait, that. off a video. Yeah. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Pre-COVID. Uh, is he recording? Is he recording the whole episode? <laughs> it's my dude. Okay. 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 I didn't know he was gonna ah, be that's recording. That's all good. No worries. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. This just is the first pers- time that's it. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. It's just. For I was like, what's going on? No. 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 Okay. It's just for personal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just to have. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I was just. Like, do you it's like the first. That. It was the first time <laughs> that's happened. I'm like, okay. I thought he was taking a picture. Like, <laughs> oh, he's taking a picture, but then he he hasn't moved. He's just yeah. like, the, okay. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. We're all good. That's cool. fam. J-O-R. J-O-R. Yeah. I, I know J-O-R people. Awesome. Um, so back to the, so ladies and gentlemen, all it would take, I mean, cause there's, you know, we're in a state where there's so many different ways of releasing your music. Yeah. Um, but sometimes all it takes is a fucking music. Video. Seriously. The simplest shit in the game. <sighs> like I was like first time oh, ever man. being in front of a camera Walking down, uh, my boy Von Poe shot it, and walking yeah, down Fashion District, super oh, camera shot. LA. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it fucking went viral. That's that was crazy. crazy. I think it was also like people were like, "Damn, she could spit," and then other people were like, what "The fuck is this? Let me watch this again." <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you it was know like cringing, crazy but not. Is you? Because I put so much effort on the material itself, like on the beats and in the notebook, and then you, you know, I'm focused on I need to get ten songs done, but. S- you're saying or like the way it is it's like you don't even need to do all- i'm just like really um traditional in that sense for sure i mean don't get me wrong before the youtube came into my life i definitely was out here burning my own s- songs on cds handing them out yeah. writing on them with the sharpie like gavlin doing demo doing it all you yeah. know i definitely i was definitely did that hustle before the youtube came into my life so Ren, we gotta do a music video, man. I think, think because I, I just released something new, you know, and you know, so, it, the people who checked it like it, but it's like, fuck, I need. How do I get more people to take notice of music videos? All the clutch. effort, because you know, I, we put a lot of artists. Yeah. We put a lot of effort into this freaking for music. sure. 
yeah. like 100% concentration. So you, it just takes a music video. Yeah. I mean, shoot, it was a blessing how that worked out. And uh, yeah, now I've dropped. That was a long time ago. Yeah, that how, was many, like, how many music videos since? I've, I've lost count. Okay. I have so much content out. I am currently working on like my sixth album right now. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, she's working. I'm out here, she's, you know? She's out here working. <laughs> um, and nowadays, let's go back to the technology. Nowadays, you don't even need a whole fancy camera. You could do it on... I was looking something up on YouTube. You could film a whole video on your iPhone, right? Yeah, I mean, iPhone quality is I, crazy. Right? It's, it's crazy. crazy good. Yeah, it's really good. Like, I got, I had a good friend of mine, that gimbal um, camera. It's good, but it seems to me... And that's a hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But the iPhone pixelation, it's even better than that dude it's crazy yeah it's so crazy so what do you need you just need an iphone and uh, some kind of um editing software right yeah basically i mean i right haven't dude? shot i haven't shot um any of my videos on an iphone but i know lady gaga recently did that <laughs> i think one of her like on the newest iphone or something like that yeah yeah so what do you recommend like how like as far as brainstorming ideas of how what you want in your video how do you come up with that shit uh, Pinterest is like my best friend. Mood boards. I'm constantly on the mood boards. So I'll just look up inspiration. Well, what's that? If it what's Pinterest that? is kind of shoot. How would I describe Pinterest? Is it it's like kinda, a it's platform like, of? It's like, a yeah. It's like a platform where you could make your own mood boards and type in like if you're looking if you want to do a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of has its own search engine. Like if you. If you want to do a photo shoot with red aesthetics, you could type in photo shoot with red aesthetics mm -hmm. and all these pictures pop up and then you could pin them all to a mood board so you could figure out how you want to lay out your own aesthetic from your inspiration that you just yeah. gathered. And then that's how you brainstorm, get ideas. Yeah. And oh. also, you know, just kind of nerd out on YouTube, look up a lot of stuff. You yeah. know, I try to stay like on on top of what's coming out because i mean i'm i'm a fan and a music nerd before anything before the actual yeah. musician so who are some of like the groups that you like looked up to like were you into like cypress hill and shit like that definitely but i mean you know i'm a millennial <laughs> yeah i'm a millennial so i got in tough to like missy elliott destiny's child Leo, oh, yeah. you know tlc uh, tlc you know uh they was were it tough, dude. ludicrous yeah <laughs> Wu Tang, yeah, Wu Tang, of course. Oh, shout out to Gifted Gab. She's got a Wu Tang tattoo. Yeah, dude, that tripped me out. Yeah, yeah, she she a beast. And so, what about what about like specifically like LA artists? Do, are there any crews that you really looked up? LA to? artists, yeah, uh, definitely West Side Connection, mm -hmm. Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, Sugar Free, Easy E. Sugar Free's the man. Yeah, that dude, he's a real pimp. Yeah, he's. Right? Quite I mean, the real pimp. A real yeah, pimp. Yeah. Legit pimp. Like, Le legit full force that. pimp. Like as far as the psychology, the <laughs> dynamics between like men and women and all Seriously. that. Seriously. Like he breaks yeah. that down in his music, right? He is. He calls himself, uh, I believe, the bitch killer. Oh, damn. Yeah, he going hard. He's got kids. With <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't I've always, that always fascinated me as far as that dynamic. That whole world is just bizarre. Yeah. A lot of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like control, you know what I mean? Yeah, super dominant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, and I met, we, we mentioned before, like, outside, like, like even when I met you, like, uh, so shout out to Carlos as well. Yeah, DJ Dub Plates. Yeah, yeah. They, um back in the day, they these cats, a, so shout out to AC, Bestizo, and Carl and all of them, they used to uh, take me to these underground jungle drum and bass. That's what's up. Party. I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> like, like these fools would just pick me up. Shout out to R.A.W. I gotta get hey. R.A.W. on here as well because yeah, I haven't had any do. junglers. Yeah, but that's how I got hip to. Did you ever get into that scene? The whole drum absolutely, and bass? totally. I love like the L.A. Yeah, I mean warehouse my, parties and shit. Oh yeah, definitely. My like sister, three in the morning and shit. And you're <laughs> like fucking. Fuck my sister up. put me on game at a young age, so definitely. She, my sister was always bumping like house jungle, drum and bass. Mm -hmm. 80, was it 89.9? Yeah, yeah. So it was alternative, like, electronica mm -hmm, shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would go, and I would be like, I don't, where are we? You know what I mean? Like, who are these people? It would just be a grip of people that just, they knew yeah. they knew where they were. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, it just fast, like, LA's filled with stuff like that, right? Oh, yeah. That's the norm. 
Um, now, did you ever get into other movements? Like, I know there's a beat scene as well, where it's just all producers. Do, uh, did you get into that as well, or go into those types of um, I mean, definitely, I've been to a few beat cinema events, mm-hmm. and Low End Theory, of course. Oh, yeah, they got and, some banging, uh, what was the banging other one? producers. Yeah, Beat Swap Me. Yeah. All, all, all of those goodies. Yeah, it's like people like Redmatic would be there. Totally, yeah. yeah. Now, since we're uh, since we brought up production, who are some like producers that y- you either have worked with or would like to work with in the future? Shoot, um, DJ Premier is like shout out to Gangstar. Rest shout in out peace, to Gangstar. Uh, um, MF Doom was one of oh, them. Man, so, you know, maybe I could get peace. one of those. Uh, I got the MF Doom tattoo, but I'm all laced up right uh, now. Man, <laughs> rest in peace. Rest yeah. in peace. Um, I'm yeah. a KMD fan as well. Yeah, so, um, man. yeah, I mean. Growing up, like getting into the whole mu- like the whole mus- music part of it, um, there's certain groups that like I looked up to, like Beastie Boys, absolutely, and Cypress Hill, Hell Far yeah. Side. But then one of, another one was like Boogie Monsters, but KMD was one. And so uh, when he uh, rest in peace, when he uh, made the transition, he dropped off the map and he uh, reinvented himself. It, it, right. It really tripped me out, and I r- thought it was a brilliant idea. So crazy. It's a trip. You see, like, throwbacks of pictures of him and Tupac chilling. It's like, whoa, I didn't even yeah. know that happened. Um, now, how is that? I mean, that news, and then rest in peace, Double K as well. I know. People under the stairs, that, that, was, that was a big really loss. Really dope Big group. loss for LA. Really dope group. Yeah. And I'm sure they're big with the graffiti uh, people as well, right? Like, the graffiti um, movement. Uh, for some reason, there's certain groups like hieroglyphics and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. That I, I uh, you know, uh, graffiti writers as well were like really kind of connected. For with. sure, yeah. yep. Um, what does that say to as far as supporting artists when they're alive? Because you know, we, you know, people could I could die tomorrow skateboarding to Ralphs. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, don't be saying that. <laughs> I, I, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, yeah. what is that? Because when that happened, because it was like, boom, back to back, right? That really, I was laying in bed. I was thinking about, I was thinking, I was going real deep with, like, yeah, damn, that one like, hurt. your life on this plane. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Like, yeah. W- like what What did that do to you as far I mean, as- it really opened my eyes, and it kind of hurt, because I was like, dang, I was really hoping I'd work with that guy one day in my life. Who, MF Doom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it. It's crazy. It opens your the eyes or the aud- or the fans' eyes to all the discography, all the music you put out. It kind of yeah. You listen to it differently. Yeah, not like even when I found out, it's like I was on Instagram and I saw the post of him with the Ewing, the New York Knicks thing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't read the the. I didn't read it. I was just like, oh, I just anything he was doing, I like. Yeah, totally. Like heart, you know. So, but then. A couple of homies started texting me that day and they're like, oh, did you hear the news? I'm like, what news? And then I looked at it again and I'm like, oh, shit. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah it was terrible. Yeah, I know that affected the whole community in a major, major way. Definitely. It's crazy, too, because what did he die? Like, uh, he died on Halloween, but they announced it on New Year's. Yeah, there's something really fishy yeah. about that. Yeah. That it's crazy. either, you know, the same thing with uh, Guru, the the way he passed, too, because I know Solar, like, was doing weird shit. Right. Not letting Guru's family members go to the hospital right. and shit like right. that. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, I got, dude, I got something golden by him. I worked at Jamba Juice on Mel. Do you remember Jamba Juice of on course. Melrose? Yeah. I worked at that one. Nice. That's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, that, That's the flag right do my thing. I had to do what I had to do, you know? I feel that. Yeah, I worked at Coffee Bean. You know, I had to, I worked at Amoeba, a lot of places. But um, this dude, uh, uh, Baby Schizo, he's a skater. Like, he, he came through, and I know he worked with, Guru, but he had Guru. They, he came in to get juices, and he goes, "Oh, Guru's on Melrose. I'm dr- he's what? with me right now." And I go, "Word, <laughs> yeah." And he goes, "Yeah," because they were buying, getting Jamba juices. So I go, "Can can you hold it?" I I I had a Celica back then. I I I told my boss or my my shift whatever supervisor, I forgot something in my car. Yeah, I had yeah. a copy of um um. Step into the arena. Nice. I had the tape. So I fucking snatched that. Wow, what luck. And then I, I said, hey, can, can you have him sign this? 
And so he came back like five, ten minutes later, signed by. Oh my god! So, dude, I'm never selling that. Oh, hell it's in my closet. Off. It's somewhere here, but that's like gold oh, to me. Oh my god! Yeah, that is the holy grail right there, man. I mean, that album is. If you want to talk, because uh, you know people say uh, it's a classic, but that really, truly, don't you think right. it was a classic? Yeah, the Keenan Monotone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the other. So, um, are you were you gr- into groups like Ugly Duckling or Living Legends? And- definitely, I was definitely into Living Legends. Uh, big Helter Skelter fan. Big. Sm- Wait, uh, you say Helter Skelter? Yes. That La Flaw joint was. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Do you know? Explain to the viewers what that was. That, the flaw, that was their, the flaw the, is squish. Yeah, that was their <laughs> single, right? Oh, that was a shit. That whole album, Nocturnal, is like yeah. still a banger. So you were in the East Coast? Because that's an East Coast yeah, affiliate there. Yeah, I was in, into there. a lot of... Well, I love West Coast too, but I feel like I learned a lot. I uh, or Maybe kind of related a little bit more to East Coast music. Because mm-hmm. West Coast music is you just game banging. Yeah, you yeah. You know, I'm like... 16 year old chick i'm not out here getting, yeah you know yeah I mean? so of course i was into the more lyrical miracle spiritual yeah, think. shit because it was just deeper for me i related to it a lot more so for sure east coast rap um so were you for me were you also into black moon oh yes Absolutely. yeah i was man their first album man that's yeah. probably like going back to the classics that's probably one of the best totally ones ever recorded for sure. I was obsessed with them. Yeah. yeah. I've even reached out to Buckshot Shorty. Oh, there you go. So shout out to Buckshot. If you, Buckshot. If you happen to watch this. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> I need, I need, before I, I pass or before I, I leave, stop doing this podcast, I need Q-tip on. Yes, you do. So I need Q-tip. I need someone from uh, Boot Camp Click. Yup. I need someone from Wu-Tang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you'll get it. You think so? I think you will. I I feel so. You, you got a cool vibe to you. Like I, I appreciate feel super it. like relaxed. Well, you know, I've had with this. It's mostly L.A. I've had quite a few like kind of heavy hit. You know, like you know, I've had uh yeah, uh, chemist on here. Sheesh. Um, Andy Cooper from Ugly Duckling. That's Eli, so tight. you know, Eli's been here. Yeah, Grouch has been. You know, that's dope. so I've had all the people I've looked up to. But nice. there's a part of me that. Well, I I want to get some East Coast motherfuckers yeah, too. Yeah, you got to. Prince sure. Paul. Oh man, I haven't heard that name in a minute. That would be, that yeah. would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So let's go back on your music trajectory because yeah. you're like because you've been really making noise. So what are some of yeah. most memorable like tours or albums okay. you put out and like what what's in the future as well? Like um for, the last album I dropped uh was with my boy DJ Hoppa. Shout out to Hoppa. DJ Hoppa, yeah. yeah. We got a record label together called Broken Complex. Yeah, Broken Complex. And how do they how do the viewers and listeners how do they um peep that is there a website or yeah you could there's a website this broken complex.com and mm-hmm. then we also have our youtube channel how, how do you how do they uh and 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 congratulations on the plaque hey thank you i man. saw that on uh, instagram Yay. yeah um yeah you could just type in broken complex records on youtube or anything that's gavlin and dj hoppa we are working right now on our third album together and so that what's the best way people could support is it YouTube? Is it go go stream right. your music on Spotify? Yep. What's the best way? I would definitely say all of those platforms for sure. YouTube, Spotify. You can hit us on our website, brokencomplexrecords.com. And we just started a Twitch. So I noticed that. <laughs> I like what you're doing. Uh, yeah. You did a live stream. Yeah. I thought that you utilized today's technology in a very smart way. Thanks. Uh, Leilani was doing the same too. Like she had like a DJ in the background, but yeah. you could do that nowadays. So. Twitch is a trip. Twitch is a trip. You It would be like the room is empty. Mm-hmm. And then like, Five minutes later, you're like, oh, shit, there's a bunch of people in here. Where did they come from? <laughs> Especially in uh, what's going on with COVID, you know, like, because you can't go to live venues now. And yeah, that's a way to perform. Totally. Yeah. So how did you come up with that idea? And like, how did you decide, oh, I'm going to do this, these songs? And like, how did you set that up? Right. I mean, Hoppa kind of put me on game to that because Hoppa watches a lot of like uh, like producers twitches where they just kind of show their processes and whatnot. And DJ. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's always another hype to hop on. There's always another social platform. There's always 
something new to add to the social media. But Hoppa, he put me on game to the Twitch. You get, I mean, you guys can find us on Twitch at Broken Complex. Yeah, let's Records. let's give it. Let's get what a plug for that. Twitch tv slash broken complex records we're going live this friday by the way <laughs> oh okay okay we're ahead on scheduling but like we'll yeah, we'll, okay, we'll put it on go. the it's on the good. description or whatever yeah, yeah. um so how often do you twitch um not often we literally just started um we did our first live uh stream mm -hmm. last week now do you do do you play video games i do do you play warzone Warzone? No, we just got the Oculus, so. Oh, yeah, I got that right here. The Oculus is the shit. Yeah, well. I definitely ran into the wall a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> have you done the one where it's called the Richie's Plank? No, what is that? So Richie's Plank is, it's on the Oculus, but you you could jump off, like, the Empire State, like. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, insane. If you guys want to, um, I could give you a demonstration <laughs> if you want to jump. Like I've made him, my intern oh, there, man. jump several times. It took him Dang. a while, but but the uh, it, it's so believable that you your heart rate. Oh my god. Um, it took me. I, I couldn't jump. It took me twenty about a good 15, 20 minutes. Like I was literally on my knees. Like oh, uh, because what shit, you do is um. Dude. You um, there's like uh, elevator music and you're in like a New York setting on the, like the city, but then there's a there's an elevator. So you go into the elevator and then you just press top button and it goes you know dun, 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 and then boop, the elevator opens and you're literally on top oh of gosh. this huge Jesus. like Empire State Building type oh, building where know. there's a, a diving board plank. <laughs> And no. so, and so, but, but what's so believable when you jump, it follows, it, it's so believable. It's like, it's like some, probably like some 9-11 shit where Damn, you're, bro. you're really, you know what I'm saying? Like you, right, Ren? You, you could see <laughs> like, Hell yeah. cranes and birds up there and it's a whole Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. That is crazy. There's this is one game. <laughs> you're good from that? <laughs> you're good? You're good off that? <laughs> you don't yeah. want to jump off a cliff? You man? don't want to jump off a building? <laughs> I might do it. But there's another. I mean, on the Oculus, not in real life. Oh yeah, <laughs> but there's another one where you could fly like what? Iron Man too. Um, there's a thing where you oh you God. have these jets and you you press the, the you know the controllers and you could fly like like Superman. Yeah. But and you could put out fires, so oh, you could nice. fly and then put out these fires. And there's a whole game where you have to do it in a certain amount of under a certain time. Word. Have you yeah. tried Super Hot? No, what is that? Is that a flying one? No, nah, it's kind of like James, like a James Bond game, but like the characters are just like these big red dudes. Mm -hmm. But um, the higher levels that you get to, like, um, they make you do shit to off yourself, and you get to like the next level. So, oh like, damn! And it's crazy because if when it first starts, it's like an all white room, and then there's just like a gun. So it's like, oh, okay, and then you take it, and then you're into the world. You yeah, know? yeah. And when I like was like, you know, now I'm I'm full force like addicted to it. Yeah, I'm already yeah, getting yeah, yeah. past, and I was like, oh, what is it? Oh shit! It wants me to shoot myself. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. So is it believable? Uh, probably not as believable as the game you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you, are you familiar with the fighting ones too, like Rocky? No. Uh, so there's a game where, and it's really believable, like you, like the, both controllers are like your gloves and you, it's really believable. That's tight. Yeah. And then you have to swing. I'm and down. Everything. And there's another one where you could go into a bar and like. It's just a regular bar scenario. There's patrons in there. That's crazy. And you could throw like b bottles. If you you could like throw a bottle at a dude, and then he'll go, "What's your problem, man?" And then, <laughs> and That's then, awesome. No, but but then his homies come and you get into a whole bar brawl. Oh damn! I'm kind of down. No, no. I'll figure it. I'll tell you after. It's a, no, but it's it's crazy. <laughs> I'm super. Where down. like you notice that like it escalates. Right. Like more people started coming in. <laughs> That's more amazing. People like come in through the, the front door. Nobody breaks it up and, and it gets like, bigger. You're like, you know, it's like you're fighting a frat or something. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so what 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 types of the it's it's cool you brought up the Oculus. Does it does it make you scared as far as the technology in the future and like how believable? I mean a little bit. 
a little bit. We're we're getting pretty close to Ready Player One. A little yeah, bit. I was just gonna br- yeah. bring up Ready Player One, yeah. which is a movie about that, totally. about like the future and uh, g- gaming and and living in this mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. So yep. do you, so do you think in the future it's gonna be like that? Definitely, I feel like it is. The Oculus is just getting better and better and better. Yeah, they already have like a. Don't they have like a, like a body. Um, sensor thing kind of like you know how they do with the gloves yeah, i don't know but i think that, i'd seen some instagram ad or something like that yeah that's crazy so i i'm just picturing a future where you don't have to leave your apartment or house for sure and yeah. you're just you know eating cheetos and you you know you're in your underwear and you're just like yeah. Get the, <laughs> yeah 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 get the or, virtual girlfriend yeah that's in the future too. Um, there, I'm on my way, babe. <laughs> yeah. So, do you think that um, for the incel community, that makes sense? Shoot, I don't even know. Because you know the incel community, they have a hard time meeting women. Right. So, why would you want to go out and meet a real woman when you could have a virtual? Yeah. You could woman. build your own. You could build your own girlfriend. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Do you think that when that time happens, there's going to be a competitive thing with real women and like technology, <laughs> like yeah, AI definitely. or, yeah, I think where so. you, st- you know, real women start beefing with AI, like, <laughs> Hey, you know, hey, yo, I see you, <laughs> you know, I'm going to catch your ass. All yeah. Time, bitch. Like, cause that's, there's this movie called her with, uh, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, her. Yeah. And he's dating basically a virtual. Right, right, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. He's dating a virtual woman, not even yeah. real. Yeah. I mean, anything's possible, man. Anything's possible. We out here. Things we're, are just we're out here. Revealing themselves more and more every year. When COVID's done with and you start hitting the bars or, and you might run into a woman who might not be a woman. Oh my god! And it's like some Blade Runner shit, <laughs> where it's you know like a synth, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So what is the future? Where does the future um, kind of stand with even music making? Don't you think? Because uh, I had uh, my homie um, Giovanni Marx, aka his subtitle, was just on here. After we shot, he showed me programs on his iPhone, yeah. like beat making. Yeah. Like a sampler. Right. Right. A sampler, right. like th- a sampler on your phone. Right. What do you think about that? I'm not mad at it. I think I think it depends what genre, too. I feel like hip hop is such still such a young, young genre mm-hmm. and it pulls so much from everything before it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think I f- feel a little bit more upset if somebody had a shortcut to like a guitar or something like that or like right. not to say that there isn't but i'm not too mad at the at where music is right now and how it's going to keep growing it's, it's crazy there's grow like growing growing grow yeah, there's technology like grow. freaking Every day seven year olds something. like killing it on the drums like it's like damn I need yeah to my game up <laughs> they're gonna be able to just record an album in their mind seriously you know I what mean, i'm saying right where there. they just think of something or Especially what Elon Musk is talking about as far as this AI and... The chip thing. Yeah, or not only that, being integrated with AI or like... That's, yeah, that's a little strange. I don't know how I feel about that. Would you ever be integrated? I don't know. I don't know. If it could make you live 100 years more or something? I'm kind of cool on that. Yeah, I, 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 I'm on the same, I'm on I'm, the same you know, boat as you. I'm, yeah. I'm grateful for the life I have. I don't need like 100 more years. No. <laughs> I'm fucking straight. I think... 80 something maybe 84 years is is yeah good. yeah even like late 70s i'm good agreed because don't you think living like because i'm a little older i'm in my 40s and everything and it's like i already kind of feel tired like oh man like is this how long is this gonna drive <laughs> <on for?" laughs> are we almost done here <laughs> yeah yeah i get you um so as far as um recording and everything like would you be open in the future just recording a whole album on your iPhone. Yeah, probably. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might be. Yeah. I'd give it a try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be like, yo, this is how we're doing it, y'all. But I I, I will give uh, most things a try. Most- I don't want to say anything, but most things. Yeah. And as far as even performing, like, what, where, do, how do you think te- technology is going to, like, 
affect that as far as the future. I mean, if I could have a hologram of myself, I wouldn't be Oh, mad. that's what's up, because they I'd, did that with, with the hologram. Um, Tupac. Yep. Just chill backstage, let the hologram take care of it. So the hologram... So are you saying the hologram will be performing? Or is yes. it the hologram there and you performing in the green room? Hologram there, me chilling in the green room. And <laughs> just doing it like on the couch? Just watching it on TV. So well, the hologram's doing all the work. So that's actually, the future. I think, I don't know. I'd be into God. it. <laughs> so a hologram of you, you're, you're there at the venue, but just I'd like not. like tag team the hologram, like, go. And they would like <laughs> yeah. chill, and I'm like, oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> or would it be convenient for you, like you book the show, right? Yep. Your hologram is on stage, but you're at your house. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm. Ready but they one. still, but they still. <laughs> I still haven't watched. Is that worth watching? The Tupac the, hologram? No, no, no. The, the Ready Player One oh, movie. Oh, it's great. It, it's, it's good. It's so good. It is. Yeah. It's like has so much good Have nostalgia. Y'all seen, seen that? This is like his favorite movie. <laughs> You've seen it twenty times. I think it's great. Oh wow! I have yeah. to watch that. You gotta check it out. So that's on. I think is it on HBO Go? I'm, I'm sure you could probably like get it on Amazon Prime. Yeah. I mean, it's worth buying. Mm-hmm. It's the shit. It's worth it. I'm gonna watch it tonight, probably. Yeah, the nostalgia it. on it is. What's like, so good about it? Because it, it, it it's the about story, the future. Yeah, it's about the future, but it also still kind of like, uh, kind of like just like has throwbacks of like, of like Pac Man and like, yeah, like all the shit that we all grew up with. Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. You know, I trip out now because I grew up during all that Galaga. Yeah. Excite Bike. I think you would love it. Kung Fu. And so, but I, I'm thinking about like, I could tonight. I could just turn on that Xbox, and I'm in that world, <laughs> yeah, and it's sure. believable. Yeah, 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 definitely. Have you thought about besides, uh, you know, I know you're on Twitch, but have you thought about just streaming you gaming a video game? I have it because there's a lot of I know there's success a lot of, in there's that. There's a lot of chicks doing that, isn't oh, there? Dude, you would kill it. Yeah, you don't even have just to cuss be, people out. Well, you don't. You don't even have to be very good at the game. You could just, you know, if you're on there. I gotta give it a try. You know, Hoppa actually brought that up. He's like, "Yo, there's tons of chicks on Twitch playing Call of Duty, killing it." Yeah. <laughs> I had a guest. Uh, shout out to Gina Darling. Nice. That's all she does. That's awesome. She streams. She plays Warzone. She's got her group. She. Yeah, she's I got getting I gotta paid into that. Yeah. Getting paid. Yeah, just to play video games all day. Like, what games would you be interested in, in streaming? Um, I like playing fighting games a lot. Like, I'm a big Tekken fan, big Mortal Kombat well, Why don't you fan, just do that Street then? Street Fighter fan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Street Fighter. I'm glad you brought that up. Street Fighter? There's a whole subculture out there, because uh, I grew up on Street Fighter. You'd have to go to the 7-Eleven or, like, Round Table Pizza. Yep. But that's still alive and kicking, where there's competitions. You could, you could, totally. you could compete online. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I mean, I ain't that good. But you could no. be playing against someone in Norway or something. Yeah, you know? some like five-year-old. So let's put that out in the universe. So in the future, uh, Gavlin might be... I might be on Twitch fucking bitches up on Mortal on Kombat. On a Street Mortal Fighter. Kombat or Street Fighter. Yeah. And so you... And that way you'll have more content. So on like... On the weekend, it'll be the live music stream. Yep. But on that Wednesday, yep. it'll be Gavlin playing uh, Street Fighter. Tekken or Street Fighter yeah. or Mortal Kombat. That's a great idea. I'm, l I'm l The future's looking bright. Yeah, I mean, you should be doing that immediately. For sure. I really should be. Like, because I'm telling you, because I don't even do that. What I do is I play Warzone with the homies and my brother, and I I do it. Um, I do that. Um, uh, I sh um document that. I record the whole night, and nice. I make a YouTube video. I, I edit that and I put it on YouTube, and then I monetize that right. way. There you go. But the smart way to do it is what I'm telling you, like to stream. Yeah, there's a lot of money in streaming. Apparently, not only that is check this out. You can not only stream on Twitch. You know, like YouTube Live. Right. You could stream the, the homie Eric Griffin does it where oh, he he does it on you on your workaholics. Yeah. He does it on YouTube live. And while you're doing it, you get donation. People just that's right, five dollars, right. ten dollars, three dollars. And while you're just playing a video game. Yeah, that's the shit. Does it every week or that's does he really maybe cool. every night? Nice. There you and go. So I'm not going to disclose like 
the amount of money he's made, but he's sure. doing extremely well for him. doing that. That guy's hilarious. I love that guy. Yeah, but th- that's what w- that's what I'm saying though, because he's a comic, right? Right. He ain't performing right now. Right. He's mo- m- making most of his revenue gaming. Good for him, dude. But you would kill it too. I know. I gotta step it up. So you do that, and I'll not only that. that, with um Gina Darling. So she's monetizing, but she's also getting deals with like um, video game controller companies. That's tight. So so you would be killing it on like just the sponsorships. I'm down. I'm hella down. So so we could see that in the Wednesday? future. Why don't you just yeah? I mean, <laughs> all you you know. Do you have a um? Are you on? What do you want? Xbox, PlayStation, uh, yeah, Xbox. So you have the camera that the Xbox comes with, right? Yep. You just have to turn that on. Yeah. Announce it uh, on Wednesday. Be like, or in the Yo, morning, be like, me. hey, at seven or eight, I'm going to be I think I'm gonna do on that. playing. Um, I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat. This is my first video game stream. Yep. Tune in. You know, come up with a yep. little thumbnail. Put yep. it on your uh, Instagram They can uh, catch like all story. My t- you yep. know what I'm saying? Live tonight, Gavlin. First uh, gaming. You have to emphasize that. It's not the music one. First yeah. gaming, gaming. Yeah. Uh, live stream, right? Right. And First gaming boom. live stream. And then that way, I think your viewers will be like, wait a minute. she. I thought she is an MC. Whoop, whoop. She plays video games too? <laughs> yeah. I got to hop on that bandwagon. And then they'll be That's like, too easy. oh shit. And then th- that way you could double up on the... Um, Twitching and yeah. the streaming. And the, the content. Yeah. Because yeah. what I... And I'm a hypocrite because I should be doing it, right, Ryan? I should have been doing this. <laughs> but uh, but the, in, your own way. in my own way. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I might do the YouTube live for me because I think that the interaction with me will be more, you know, because I've done uh, YouTube live videos where I'm just, hey, guys, you know, answering questions. Right. And I. I got, I've got, I got donations that night. Just That's tight. me in front of the web camera, right? Hey guys, I'm here. Uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, and then you know, right, Ren? And then you just answer questions right. to your fans and be right. like, oh yeah, this is happening, and people, you know, Yo, people, you could chill on the stream for like a hot minute. People yeah. are like people could tune in, tune it out, come back. You could still be doing your thing. That's kind of like the cool thing about it. It's like the energy of it. Can I tell you another thing that might blow your mind? What, yes. but something that might work for you, and yeah. I know has worked for a couple other streamers. Let's get it. There's a thing now. Gina Darling does this, where people will just watch you sleep. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, shoot. It's called sleep streaming. <laughs> Yo, there's something. So you for don't even have to play video there. games. You could just. <laughs> I'm. I'm not kidding you. This oh, is I real. You. This is real. Oh, boy. So people will tune in to watch you <laughs> do something that you naturally do every night. Oh, boy. Sleep streaming. <laughs> you re- <laughs> like, I know, man. You really I want know to what not try? Thinking. Here we go. So would you be open to just... Nah. No. Not to sleep streaming. That's weird, right? That's a little weird. It's a bit voyeuristic. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not only that, they're just, you know, why would you? Yeah, man. But that exists. It, I feel like there's some, there's something for everybody out there. Would you be open to this? I have a, just one more idea that you could Oh, yo, shoot them. Shoot them all. So would you ever do cooking? I might. Or I might. baking. Baking, hey, tonight. No. Cooking. Tonight I'm gonna do make blueberry muffins. <laughs> Tune in to Ga- Gavlin's uh, yep. bake, baking with Gavlin. I might do like a taco one. I Dude, don't, there bacon, you go. Bacon, I don't know about the bacon. You could do a, a asada one there one week. Go. A chicken. You know what I'm saying? Taco Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. Just out of my own curiosity, what does pinche pinche coreano mean? Yo, David, what does that mean? Pinche coreano. You know it. I know pinche means like or fucking, p- right? Like chino. fucking something. Pinche chino? It's a uh, fucking Asian. Oh, fuck. Okay. Because I've heard that before. Oh, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. I'm Latino, yeah. but my dad never it taught me a lick of Spanish. Are you, like, are you uh, affluent? Can you, do you understand it? No. Nah. You don't understand it? No. Nah. You know certain words, though, right? 
if I'm around it long enough, yeah. but my pops. Because it's L.A. You have yeah. to kind of know a little bit. A little bit, bit like Spanglish, but I, I can't speak it. Yeah. If I do, I sound like super white girl. That's fine. I mean, hola, hola. hey, I'm Korean and I can't speak it. But when my mom says shit, I understand it. I understand it. But I can't. I respond back in English. Hey, at least you understand it. So that's awesome. A little bit. That's tight. A little bit. Now let's. Oh God, we're we're running in the last ten minutes. Okay, this Time flew. This when you're yeah, having fun. Yeah, this flew <laughs> by. Let's. I want to really push your, yeah. your what your what your, your your platforms. So what's the best way um, that they could support Gavlin right now? Your well, Insta- your Instagram first. My Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Gavlin, G-A-V-L-Y-N-N-N. Mm-hmm. Um, you could subscribe to my website. What's which your is website? Gav- uh, www.gavlin.com. And uh, my record label's uh, YouTube channel, Broken Complex Records on YouTube. And do you have vinyl or anything physical, merch that um, they could purchase? Yes, I how, have, do, how do they do that? You could find all my music on brokencomplex.com. Mm-hmm. I have uh, physical CDs, all of that good stuff. Vinyls, not yet. But they could buy a, a merch right now on the, the Broken Complex yes, website, absolutely. right? I, I just want to yes. get, th- I want to be clear on that. Yes, yes. Okay. And they could go on there and that, that'd be a good way to support, right? Yeah, absolutely. You'd be supporting the whole crew, which is being Hopper. <laughs> and look, a lot of, you know, because I, uh, you know, I, I'm conflicted with this too. Because nowadays people want, I could get it for free, dude. You know what I mean? But Bastards. but for the artists, you know, it, it takes a lot of effort to create this shit. It does. It does. So, Especially now that Torin's non-existent. So, so <laughs> definitely... Right now, buy yeah. the merch off Yo, the Broken Complex Broken Complex website. Com, pull up all the merch, all the physical music. What's on there? Is there? Can they buy a shirt? Yeah, you could buy shirts, sweaters, pins, posters, CDs. And that's the best way. Yes. Okay, and then um, what about what's the best way? Music solely music. Is it watching your video? Is it buying your yes. albums, streaming? What is that? I would say you could stream my music on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, mm-hmm. YouTube, all of that. You know, one thing about Spotify, they you don't can you really gauge who's streaming your shit? I've always, I'm, I'm still I'm, figuring it out. I'm honestly. like paranoid about that because at least with yeah. Bandcamp, because I I'm a fan of Bandcamp. Bandcamp is that is for the artist. For That's sure. for like you know who's supporting you. Yeah, but yeah. either way, you heard it from the horse's mouth, gang, right? gang. Buy it or stream it from Spotify. Yes, yes, Spotify, iTunes. And then uh, watch the videos a hundred times. On YouTube, Gavlin, DJ Hopper, working and on our third album now. Third album. And okay, since you brought that up. Yes. When? How close are you to finishing that project? Well, I would say we're about halfway through. Halfway through, yeah. and what is there uh, maybe a possible release? You don't know the release date, nah, not yet, not yet. Okay. But uh, I am actually going to be dropping a new video this month on YouTube Broken Complex, Gavlin DJ Hopper. I don't have a date yet, but I have a new music video dropping this month on YouTube. And then say the YouTube channel again, YouTube channel is a uh, Broken Complex Records, and then that's and then definitely subscribe as well, yes. right? That yes. helps hit out. that subscribe, yes, right. Yes. Did we miss something? I, I feel um, like. I don't think we did. I no? think we're good. We talked on the streaming, and I think we're good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the merch, uh, totally. social media. Do you have a Twitter or anything? Or a I'm TikTok? Or, I'm not really active on Twitter. No, TikTok. You know, I know the kids are on the TikTok. and everything. I don't have one. But, you, you know what? Know, I, like, have one, but I never the, use the it. dancing <laughs> stuff? <laughs> yeah. I have one, but I never use it, so. Yeah. I'm cool with I, with what I promoted. I think that's right. The that's Instagram, Twitch, YouTube. Yeah. Now, are you, um, as far as other, is is Broken Complex, It's is it a record label? Yeah, it's a record label. My boy Hoppa started it when he was a teenager. That's basically. what's up. Yeah. How many other artists are on there as well? Um, yeah. I mean, it started, we used to have a gang of artists on there. But, um, you know, a lot of people grew up. A lot of people had kids. A lot of people kind of yeah. had different career paths. And now it's just uh, me and DJ Hoppa. We've been, I've known Hoppa since I was like 
16. Right. That's so we, that's we family. Go, that's we family. go back. Yeah. yeah. He was on your Twitch stream as well. Yeah, we do it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was checking that out. Um, now, if there's an artist, are you guys willing? Let's say there's an artist out there that might fit the bill for your the label. Yeah. Oh, we also just uh, got a new artist on there named Marley B. He's from Tucson, Arizona. Oh, shout out to yeah, Marley B. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, University of Arizona, Tucson. Yeah, yeah. Tucson, Arizona, Arizona. <laughs> Okay, and so you do accept artists. Yeah, for sure. For how sure. do, if people want to submit to your label, yeah. how do they go about doing that? Um, definitely hop on our website, brokencomplex.com. All of our contact info is there. You can send us your music through that. And you'll consider them? Yes, we shall consider them. And you. what are you looking for in an artist? Originality and uh, being dope and... Uh, Hustle? The hustle, yeah. The, the promotion. Hustle. If the hustle is one, but definitely most importantly, being dope and being original. Being original? Being dope to true to yourself. Yeah, that's like the number one thing. Number one thing, but yeah. then it, it, it can't hurt that they're self-motivating and yeah. promoting them. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if I was like a CEO or something, I would obviously yet they would have to be dope right yeah that's the number one thing but i would like i'm looking for this characteristic like you have to promote yourself or without me or like the label you already have to be doing that yeah you got to have some kind of like stepping stones that you're already mentally prepared for yourself to make you the artist that you are for sure yeah yeah so definitely if you want to submit listen to her, .com, boo -boo. what she said be dope, be original, stay true to be yourself, self, be a self motivating artist. Yes, and uh, Hoppa and Gavlin will take a look at your reel or your music yeah. and they'll definitely give you feedback. Yeah, we'll hit you with that knowledge. Would you, now, if you don't, if you're not going to sign them, will you give them feedback like, hey, you know, I appreciate what you submitted, but for sure, yeah, you, but maybe do yeah. another EP, then get yeah. back to us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll def we definitely won't leave them hanging. We're not going to be like, uh, next. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely let them know that thanks for reaching out. Okay, well, th that flew by, right? Yeah. Uh, I think we got everything, right? I think I, think I wanted to make sure we're not forgetting anything as far as, like, pushing her stuff, yeah? Oh, yeah, we got all that. We got all that, all right. Well, all right. you know, I, I have a couple announcements, and then y'all are free to go here. Um, we do have a Patreon attached to the show. If you want to um, help support this platform, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. All my music's at uh, stevieweebybandcamp.com. I did release Ode to My Pops on all the other platforms like Spotify and all that. Um, and I do have a new um, project, uh, I Feel Stir Crazy. That's on my Bandcamp right now. Definitely support that. Then I'll have it all on the other platforms. StevieWeebyShow.com if you want to buy any kind of merch. Just know that the orders will be delayed a little bit because of shipping and the COVID, right? Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, YouTube.com slash StevieWeeby. That's the YouTube channel. Um, Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. -U. I do have a Stevie's P.O. Box, if you want to send uh, packages or fan mail, send all your packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. It was an honor having you. Thank you for having that me. That was sick. Uh, and Lil Ray's World might be coming very soon, okay? Be patient. <laughs> My buddy Skip is a trip, feeling blue like a crib. Frame for robbing a bank, letting loose from the hip. He really couldn't predict this grip was so full of ants. Tim and Henry were with Peckers, did a song and dance at bit. Oh, rodeo man in the West, you can. You're the best on the land. You bless the sands, do the bull with your hand. No, Skip, you can. Get that fucking bull, pull on that rope. Feeling still crazy, maintaining against the grain. Making me want to get in a plane. The pain inside my brain never ends. Today, don't give it away, the pitch and the praise, the rays Shining it down to his crowns, the finest of frowns delayed Skippy's afraid, he feels betrayed, lift this way, can deal with shade It's made in spade, he made the gray, displayed in a charade of pain I am not a man, I am an animal, a male I live by maritime, the law of water, about to sail When my mother had me, I slipped out of her canal What you call a sailing ship is named after a female